Hey guys, what's up? It's Kret, second video of the day, and uh, slightly delayed. Um, it was supposed to come out on Friday, or I was supposed to do it on Friday. We have patch notes, um, so it's coming out late Monday, second video for the day. And we're going to talk about Warriors in Season 1 and Warriors in Season 2. So, the Warrior class is a fundamentally interesting class. Um, a fundamentally difficult class, because... They have to ride the line between being tanky and doing damage and having control. So what does that really mean? Well, I think probably the most balanced warrior is Chalk. Um, so, so Chalk, right? He's looking at his abilities. He, he's got lane control with his Thunderstrike. His torrent helps out. He's got a little bit of sustain to keep himself as alive. His uh, base stats are pretty good. Not as high as a true guardian. Um, he's got a passive with some, pr or an ultimate with some pretty decent CC. And um, he's going to do the majority of his damage through chin size, just because he doesn't really have a better way to do that damage. Uh, his abilities don't hit hard enough. So. Chalk is a character that generally does a decent job of riding the line between damage and defense. He will generally do about a third of the raw DPS of a hunter and be three times tankier, right? Um, yeah, so that's that's one type of guardian. And then there's another type of guardian, uh, like Guan Yu, who's more ability-based, right? So Guan Yu does his damage through Talu Assault, through Warrior's Will, through Cavalry Charge. He has his uh, crowd control and Cavalry Charge. He's got a little bit of sustain on his Conviction. Gives him some team utility as well. right? And Guan Yu is primarily, uh, like a, a caster assassin, is primarily scaling with cooldown reduction and penetration. And he also is pretty pretty decent in terms of um, the amount of damage and tankiness that he can put out. Maybe a little bit too low. Um, and in fact, I would say, you know, a, a majority of the warrior class is actually in a decent spot. The problem is there's sort of two to three outliers, right? And those outliers are Hercules and Osiris. So Hercules and Osiris are sort of the characters that make warriors feel OP. The reason Osiris makes Warriors feel OP is that he's about as tanky as another warrior, but he does significantly more damage with chin size and his passive, and he's got a few other things going on. For example, um, he's got a really beneficial cancel with Sickle Strike, where you can auto, auto, uh, auto, auto, sickle, auto, and it's faster than doing auto, 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 so you just get a free cast in because it resets your attack chain. So stuff like that is um, powerful for Osiris. He's, he's good with chin size, he's very tanky, and is able to keep himself safe. Um, Hercules, on the other hand, is more like he gets a little bit too much free defense, right? His heal is very powerful, um, able to heal up to 90% of the damage he takes during the four seconds. And then he's got decent burst damage on his driving strike and his... Um, uh, excavate ultimate and then he can pull the auto position with the earthbreaker so that's sort of the nature of the class though right it, I think out of all the classes it's the hardest to balance as a group um, probably followed by assassins because first of all there are two types of warriors but second of all every warrior needs to ride the line between having you know having like just enough defense and just enough damage and just enough control um in season one warriors had moments where they're very powerful through uh really strong itemization choices like penetration boots into jodens or chin size witchblade runeforged hammer at world championships we pretty much saw warriors exclusively played in the duo lane um being generally the strongest uh role there and in season two, I think Hyres is going to sort of keep doing what they did with Warriors in season one, but just sort of try and find the balance point for them. The class isn't fundamentally broken, it's just fundamentally difficult to balance. And going to the PTS, I think the majority of the Warriors are okay. I mean, Odin seems fine if a little bit too weak. Sun Wukong, Guangyu, and Chalk seem fine if a little bit too weak. 
Tears in a weird spot. He's probably okay, and I think Vimano with the recent nurse who's ultimate's fine. It, that outlier is really hurting Osiris. Um, hopefully, Hyrez works on those and finds a balance point because you, you just they have to be like just good enough, right? But you don't want them too good. So it, it's a very very weird class. Um, the other thing to mention is just the the sort of type of builds that warriors have. So let's take a look at Chalk. We'll go to the God Builder for this, right? So first item for Chalk. Let's say we go Death or whatever. Um, first item, probably something defensive for lane, Runeforged Hammer. <clears throat> probably want boots after that. Um, Ninja Tabi or Warrior Tabi on most warriors are the same. Like, there's a 1% DPS difference. You can go for whichever you prefer. On Shock, I think I'd want the attack speed. Um, so we have these three items. Then, after boots, probably chin size, just to get a nice little bit of damage. Sure, it's expensive, but it's still very efficient. And then after that, we can get more physical defense. We could round out our magical defense. Um, I don't know. We can get like our runic shield, right? Whatever. So that's a little bit of magical defense. And then I want some health. So it's like a magic's blessing. And then last item, we sell our death toll, and say buy a titan's bane. Right, or like a Crusher. Crusher or Titan's Bane could go either way. Let's go Titan's Bane. Right, so that's like the sort of build that Warriors should really go for. You get like boots, one or two big offensive items, um, a lot of defensive choices, maybe with some hybrid options, and then you're probably ending with a Titan's Bane just for the late pen. And that's fine. It's just making sure that the full build comes together in the right way and it's not too powerful at certain points in the game, right? Like, Runeforged Hammer, probably too good. Um, you know, it probably just has a little bit too much health, a little bit too much protection, it's making warriors just a little bit too strong early. Stuff like that that needs to be so smoothed out, but I think it's just numbers changes to warriors. Um, as a class, and then for the individual outliers, yeah, there might be some mechanic changes needed, right? Like. My opinion, Osiris probably shouldn't have physical damage reduction on his passive. Herc probably should be deleted from the game. Or, I don't know, like have his heal changed or something like that. Um, but yeah, so those are my thoughts on Warriors. If you like this video, drop a like, comment, subscribe down below. You can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Kritita, T-U-H-T-U-H. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.